We are in Joliettville, something like that. It's not too far from our house. It's rained pretty big uh, last night and then two or three days ago. So I'm sure that's brought back to his memory of uh, it just flooding this carport. Yeah, this is a pretty important project, I would say. I mean, this is it's really important that we that he get this where he can drain it. So this is good stuff. Can you, can you tell, tell how far down you're digging? I can tell, but I'm digging too far right there. Now you go forward. So I lift the uh, wheels off the ground and then push forward with the back over. As long as I've got my outriggers off the ground, that works fine. I don't know if there's... there's the edge of that concrete, see? So oh, okay. Is that deep enough, Brian? I mean, that's right down to the concrete. Either, either that's deep enough or we got to get a lot more serious. Mm -hmm. I'm trying it on for size. Too high, the tad. Can you not break up the? But you don't really want to break up the concrete underneath, do you? Well, I'm afraid if I break up the concrete, I'll break up the good part of the concrete. Yeah. But no, I don't know if I've got enough room to do so anyway. It looks like it goes way on out here. Got up a little chunk. Oh, there came up a chunk. I think you're breaking it up. It's just taking a little bit of time. Yeah, it's, uh, but see, it's going to be thicker as it's close. Right. Brian, do you have a sledgehammer? Yeah. You might, you might try beating that right there. Sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, an air hammer would do the trick. for 3000 It's not exactly as easy of digging as I thought it would be. No, I never thought about that concrete. Like yeah. The question is, how close do you really want to get it to the your drainage to... To the concrete here? Yeah. I, I would think you'd want it right up against it. Ooh, you're you making would noise. Think. You would think. Uh, we can really see now what we're up Oh, yeah. See, that's going to get thicker and thicker as you get in there. See? Yeah. So there's no way I'm going to be able to bust that up and with this little guy. And even if I could bust it up, I risk tearing up the concrete with it. Yeah. So this is, I'm, I'm liking the sound of that air hammer. I think that sounds like it. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I've really got to have that front end loader all the way down. Yeah, you sure do. I can't. I can't. I can't tell them, uh, get those teeth in action. The teeth remind me of the teeth on the bucket up front. In fact, the teeth that are on the bucket up front, on the loader bucket, would uh, would work on the back of them. They're actually removable and replaceable. Oh, yeah? Uh, the guy from Heavy Hit that, that uh, we got the, the uh, tooth bar from, he said in Canada, even backhoes and everything else, I mean, it's just the standard, the standard teeth are those others. And the main reason for them is the, uh, the split teeth, the tiger teeth, the split teeth, or whatever you call them. The main reason people use them in Canada is they're really good against the permafrost. Oh, that makes sense. I'm able to bust up some of that, but yeah. that's really about as close as I can but, get. But not quite enough. This, this project is challenging sort of because of the finesse, right? I mean, it's one thing to dig a trench three feet deep, but this is not, this is not like that. It's got a different, different challenge here. Yeah. Yeah, this would have been really hard to have dug with a shovel. 
Yeah, I wouldn't want to have started this for the shovel. Look, he can slide himself over. Both of your tires are off the ground on this side. I think this thing makes me feel like a fly. Yeah, you keep thinking that. Get a jackhammer attached. Yeah, there you go. One thing Johnny is good for is being small enough to get in areas where larger tractors couldn't go. Yeah, you know, that's really true. It'll be hard for a much bigger tractor to do what you're doing. So, Tim, are you going to go to the Olympics for digging a trench? Uh, I doubt it. I doubt I would score very high in a trench digging. You don't think you could score a 10? Well, presuming that you know, a couple of ways you could judge would be uh, speed of digging and quality of digging. Well, yeah, you're kind of slow. Kind of slow and, well, my quality is debatable. I think the quality's okay, but you couldn't help that you had a bunch of concrete down in the area that you needed to be in. But not only that, I'm not going. I don't, oh. I don't want to get to Zika. You don't want to go to Rio de Janeiro, wherever it is? No, I don't want to get to Zika. Is Zika in the Gulf? Yeah, Zika virus. So no, I'm not going. Even if, even if they demand that I go for my tractor and skills, I'm not going to go. So you're going to boycott? Yeah, I'm boycotting. Just because you're afraid of a little virus? Yeah, they've been calling me every day saying, Tim, we've got to have you for the tractor company. But uh, I just keep telling them, no, I'm, I'm not going. I think you're just a coward. <laughs> you want to back a little bit? See, just like anybody else you would expect, he's going to say, no, 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 I don't want to do it. But back in the back of his mind, he's saying, let me at it. Let me at it. One lever does one thing and one lever does the other thing. <laughs> Actually, one lever does two things and the other lever does the other two things. Well, give him a little bit better explanation than that. Oh, you'll figure it out. I think well, he's doing good. Oh, he's doing great. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not rocket science to do this, but on the other hand, it's it's not trivial, especially if you're not a video gamer, like I'm not. Does I suppose he play video games? He probably does, just watching him. He probably, uh, yeah, I think he, as quick as he's caught on, he probably does play video games. Maybe that's my problem. I don't play video games. I don't even play games on my phone. What kind of human being am I? But I think you're going to, I mean, we tried to put that down, and, and you got a half inch too high there, so yeah, we're going so to have to... I'll chip away at it. I've got an air hammer. That's what we're wanting to see. I'll go get it out. It's not I mean, he said air hammer a half an hour ago, and we've done everything we can to get him to pry it out. <laughs> power to him, hey. <laughs> so, Brian, what do we have here? She sent us, like, one this is my air hammer. So, like, oh, okay. Menard Special. Okay. This video is sponsored by Menards. As they all are. As they all are. So. <clears throat> this looks like fun, doesn't it, Hannah? Mm -hmm. Hey, how about just starting right next to the edge? Can you just do right in? Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah, you're going to get it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that perfect, Hannah? I can reach all the way back there. I think you'll reach part, most of it, yeah. Brian's back there diligently working away at the concrete. I think he has the harder job. Yeah, but that's a pretty cool job. Yeah, he just got up a big piece of concrete. Yeah, that's a pretty cool tool. Yeah. Do you not have one of those? 
no. Oh my goodness. I need one, don't I? I need a big one to mouse the giant. Uh, yeah. Where'd that shovel go? I was going to say I hit it, because I don't like shovels. Why am I doing that? I don't know, but I'm getting video of it, so yeah, you can you better. prove. Yeah, you better. Yeah, that really is nice, Brian. That, that thing's amazing. And uh, he's torn all that out here in just a few minutes. Hold the handle end up. There you go. A little bit on the bottom, right down there. there you go. I'm not done. Actually, it looks done. pretty good. They're going to have their kids tomorrow pick up the uh, concrete and stuff that was broken up out here. But I think they're happy with it.